for me. When I got home from Texas, he had a big gift basket sitting on this uh, kitchen island full of presents for me, which was really sweet. And these pants were one of the things in the basket, so bring them today. Anyway, I'm making monkey bread, and I thought I'd bring y'all with me. In case you've never made monkey bread, don't worry, you're not alone. I've never made it either. But it looks fun. I've made like a different kind of pull apart like bread before, and it wasn't good, and I made it completely from scratch. But this one is gonna be like a sweet, um, like really sticky, sweet, yummy bread, and it's way easier because I'm not making the dough from scratch. The oven is set to 350. I'm spraying a bun pan generously. I'm a half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon in this bag. Mommy. Hi, what's Daddy. up? Daddy. You're so smart, Flynn. I am mixing together a three, four cup of <laughs> melted butter and one cup of light brown sugar, firmly packed. Okay, watch this. Flynn, have you ever seen these pop open? They scare me because they go, oh, watch. Did you see it pop open? Yeah. What I'm doing is I have- Mommy, look it. I have these Pillsbury biscuits and I'm cutting them into quarters and Flynn is putting them into the bag of cinnamon and sugar. Shake it up crazy! Shake it up crazy, dude! I'll have... It looks like cat poop! It looks like cat poop! <laughs> it does look like cat poop! So that's how you know when you've shaken it up enough is when it starts to look like cat poop. Okay, so now we put them into this. So now that these are in here, do we want to put some nuts? Yeah! So I'm just gonna put a little bit of walnuts in. Just go sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. No more than that? More. You want more? Dying. Dying? Dying. Oh, done. <laughs> I thought you said dying. Pour this over it all. I'm good, dude. <laughs> Don't wipe it on me! Stop! I want that on me, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, now we put this in the oven. It says bake for 30 to 40 minutes, and then we eat it. Two, one. What does that mean? They're ready! It's ready! Our stuff is ready, let's go get it. Oh. Oh my god. Take these with all the gooey on it. This is so good. This is very good. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just did a little bit of work, but now I have to go because Eric's getting a tattoo today and he wants me to go with him. Ugh. I've never gone with him to get a tattoo. He's only gotten two since I've known him. He has a bunch of tattoos, but only two since I've met him. Yeah, I'm excited. I've never watched someone. Wait, that's not true. I have seen someone get a tattoo. My cousin a long time ago when I was, I mean, I was probably like 15 or 16 or something like that, but I went with her. I don't think I watched, so I think I was too scared of the needles, but yeah, Eric wants me to go with him. So hopefully they let me stay and watch. We'll see. There's a 99 cent store. Oh my god, I'm the so excited. The destination is on your right. Energy tattoo. Tattoo. Oh, tattoo. I'm such a nerd about it. Tattoo. Be so nice. Because to me, tattoos are a really big deal. Eric's just like, yeah, whatever. He's like, I don't know where I'm gonna get it. I don't know. I'm very excited. I hope they let me stay and watch. You guys, it's happening. Look at the stencil on. I'll show you up close later. It's exciting. Eric says I should get a tattoo, but I'm too indecisive. I could never pick what to get or where to get it. That's like a huge decision to me. Eric's just kind of like, yeah, sure, that's fine. But he literally doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, you can put it anywhere. Oh my God, it's happening. Why am I more nervous than you? You're not nervous at all. Am I so annoying to take with you to get a tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone with him, yeah. Yeah, obviously he would never take me because I'm too annoying. still getting a tattoo, but I was really hungry because I hadn't eaten yet, so I grabbed myself a little snack. I also got him a slice of carrot cake because carrot cake is his favorite cake. It's kind of weird. 
but I wanted to celebrate his tattoo, so I got him a slice of cake. Oh, so good! Yeah, you did such a great job. Yeah, you did such a good job. That looks so awesome. Oh. At my show in Houston, I think, a lovely, lovely, awesome girl gave us that cockroach. She hand-knitted it, and Flynn is obsessed. Is it flying around? But he's convinced it's a cockroach moth. Where are you going? <laughs> Eric's tattoo is so cool. I'm so excited. I guess I should let him explain the meaning of the tattoo to you guys. Not me, because it's his. And tattoos are very personal. There's always like a story or something cool that goes along with tattoos, well, typically. And um, so I feel like he should be the one to explain it if he wants to. But basically, that arm of his, he said, that area of his arm is dedicated to his kids essentially so he has the ladybug which is about like you know our time in the NICU and Maisie and just what ladybugs mean to us like just like a sense of like hope I don't know just whenever we see ladybugs we think about how like we stayed strong for Maisie and Maisie was strong for us to get out of the NICU because she was there longer than Wesley and um, we just called her a little ladybug and it's like a symbol of like staying strong during hard times and I don't know it was no it means a lot to us ladybugs in general and then the sword is for Wes and there's a lot of meaning behind and that sword too, so I'll let him explain that. Anyway, I'm gonna um, edit and I'll see you guys in a little bit. baby marathon running back and forth to baby night. Wesley and Maisie have a little cold. We've COVID tested them. It's not, it's just a little cold. But babies with colds are very sad babies. Okay. My entire family is gonna be in my show in Anaheim. I'm having a bunch of family and friends. We're gonna be in it. So I'm getting costumes for everyone who's gonna be a part of the show. Lynn's gonna be so excited. Lynn asked me to find him a driller truck, and I found one. And he's gonna be very, very excited that that arrived. While well, you're picking up Cheerios and <laughs> baby toys. <laughs> Can I talk about your tattoo? What about it? I just didn't explain anything about it after. What's to explain about? Don't be such a nerd. I'm not being a nerd. People will want to know. I want to know. What'd you get? A sword? You're not gonna say anything about it? Do you want me to? Yeah. I got Uma Toya's sword from The Princess Bride. The guy who says, he killed my father. Prepare to die. Because Wesley's name is was Wesley, not Westley, like it is in the book. Is the book Westley? Mm -hmm. In the book, in the book, it's West. Yeah, Westley. Yeah. Th that's not why we named him that, anyways. No. But when we found ourselves in the NICU, that was the book I chose to buy and bring there to read to them when they were in their little cubicles. That was a time where I was like holding Maisie every time because Maisie was harder to hold. Like we rarely got to hold Maisie. I feel. Yeah. So I feel like you were always holding Wes. So you were always reading to him. Yeah. And so yeah, I just wanted something. I was trying to think of like a. Some, some sort of symbolism to him in that experience. And I used to sword fight a lot in Shakespeare plays, so I like swords. I love it, it looks so Does that cool. make sense? Is yeah. That, does that explain it uh, enough? Yeah, I love it, it's so cool. Eric's trying to get me to get a tattoo. What do you want me to get? A cheerio, catch. <laughs> open your mouth, just open, close your eyes, open your mouth. Yes. This one has definitely been in a kid's mouth. Can you edit it so it looks like I did that first try? No. I want them to know that was the oh, try. This is soggy and stale. Well, if I wasn't gonna get sick, I am now. You wanna put that in my mouth? <laughs> Your butt. Anyway, that's the story of Eric's tattoo. Let me know if you guys want a tattoo tour and I'll give you a tour. Son. <laughs> if I got a tattoo, I think I would get either. You're gonna steal my, my next one. So oh, yeah, I do want that one really bad. Okay, so I got Flynn this like tattoo kit literally at the airport in Texas because he's into tattoos right now. He's got tattoos all over him right now with bugs. And this one I picked up because it has a bumblebee and a butterfly on it. And I was like, oh, there's some bugs in this one. I'll get him this. But what else is on here that I love is there's a tattoo that says, Be Brave. This is the airport. I love that because Flynn says that to me and Eric 
like all the time. And the first time he said it to me, it like shattered my insides. Like having a little perfect three-year-old human who is my whole world look at me and say, be brave, mommy. You can do it, mommy. You can do it, be brave. Like all of my insides just melted. When I saw that, it made me think of him and how he always says, be brave. I'll never forget it. We were outside in the backyard playing like around the trampoline and I was like, I'm scared to get on the trampoline. Like what if I can't do it? And he's like, be brave, mommy. I remember I like remember I remember that. it so well, like that first moment. And I was like, oh my God. And so I was like, oh, that'd be a cool thing to have somewhere because it would make me think of him and his face, this sweet, innocent, pure little soul telling me to be brave. And there are so many times where like anxiety gets the best of me or I'm freaked out or I'm not believing in myself or whatever. And to see it somewhere like on my hand or my body or something like that and thinking of him saying that to me, I could cry. I'm like, oh my God, that would be so awesome to have somewhere just to remind me whenever I'm feeling down like to be brave for him god. like oh my god I'm literally gonna cry but I just thought that would be such a cool one but I'm too scared <laughs> but look and I even love that font you don't like that font I do don't, don't do like that the Houston airport font I like it I want it somewhere where I could see it constantly I don't like things on my wrist but I do love that. I think that's so awesome. You don't like things on my wrist? I don't. Like don't my wrist, my time. wrists and my feet are off limits. Mm -mm. What about like the here? Yeah, I'd like a finger tattoo would be kind of cool. Every time I flip someone off, it, off, it says be free. <laughs> Just encourage them to like keep going. They think I'm flipping them off, but really I'm like keep going. Say more mean things to me. Okay, I'm gonna put it. I don't do wrists, but I could do it like here. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're getting me all wet. Here we go, guys. Here's my tattoo. Cool. What do we think? You know why I like it there? Because that's where I got my blood drawn every day for the effing twins. <laughs> I kind of already have a tattoo, honestly, because I got my blood drawn every single day on this side, actually. Right here was one of the spots where that spot is, and right there, and literally it's scarred because of how often I got my blood drawn. What do you guys think? Should I get it? I love it. We should go right now and just have him like do it over that stencil. Should I get a tattoo, guys? I'm never gonna do it, but. Come on. Well, no, 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 no pressure. It's not good. <laughs> I'm just too scared of the commitment for the rest of my life. But that is kind of cool, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna go get it tomorrow. All right. Yeah, Eric wants to get this one too. Yeah, it was my idea. I mean, I wanna get it too. No, it wasn't. Okay, goodbye, guys. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.